hello friends how are you doing in the video of today we will learn together how to apply for visa for Denmark and as always we will learn everything starting with the visa policy of Denmark after that uh, we will move forward to the application process how to fill the application form and everything about the application uh, process and in the end we will be speaking about all the documents that you will be needing while applying for visa for Denmark but before we start don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and if you have any inquiry or question please write it below in the comment section and I will respond to you back in 24 hours first let's explain together the visa policy map of the Schengen area as a country of today is a part of the Schengen area so if you are a holder of a passport belong to any country of the Schengen area if or if you are a holder of a visa of any country in the Schengen area you have a free access to any country inside the uh, Schengen uh, area uh, and also there are some countries who can get access to Schengen area without visa for example countries of uh, all the countries of North America Austria United Arab Emirates, Japan, uh, Korea, Malaysia, and uh, many countries uh, in South America, all these countries can get uh, into the Schengen area and stay there for uh, 90 days. For the rest of the world, speaking about all African countries and almost all uh, Asian countries, all these countries must obtain visa before traveling to the Schengen area and some of these countries like Iran, Iraq, uh, Ethiopia, Somalia, Pakistan, you will need both visas for traveling to, uh, to the Schengen area or even transiting inside the Schengen area. So if you are going to apply for visa for Denmark, this is the official website to apply applyvisa.um.dk I will leave you the website link down there you click here apply for visa okay you will have to uh, register first in order to create a user account click next first name you give a first name last name you give uh, a private phone number in case you forget your uh, phone number private phone number email password Confirm password. Okay, it must be eight characters, like uh, almost uh, one small letter, one capital letter, one number, and they must be matching. Create user. Okay, so your user account has been created. Before you can log in, you must activate the account. So I will go to my email. I received the email over here click over this link and now the account is active is activated now I can log in okay Now log in. Okay. And here you click apply for visa. And you can choose between applying for individual visa or applying for group visa. Click apply for individual visa. And this is a section where you start feeling I will hand in my application at this location so uh, 
you choose your location and by saying location they mean city not country so if India you can Delhi I want Delhi maybe New Delhi yes New Delhi for India if Egypt Cairo if Pakistan it will be Islamabad you can just if Turkey it will be Istanbul you just need to choose your location I will go for example let's apply from uh, Islamabad for example and you declare I'm over 18 then click next okay this is a declaration next okay starting with the first section the personal information surname a uh, surname at birth first name you can also I have checked that my current surname and first name are written as in the passport I'm traveling with okay date of birth Just get your date of birth. Country of birth, we choose Pakistan. Place of birth, nationality, national identity number, it is optional, so you no need to give it. Current nationality, Pakistan. Nationality at birth, Pakistan. Other nationality, there is no other nationality gender male civil status single then next now I'll give home address and contact information address postal code city country Pakistan email address Telephone number or nine two if Pakistan and one two three four five six seven eight nine. Okay, then click next. Does someone, for example, legal guardian, have a parental responsibility for you? I will say no. Then click next. You can also here save and continue later. Are, are you related to an EU or any European citizen? I will say no. Click next. Do you work? I will say yes. Your current occupation. Okay, choose your occupation here. Uh, any occupation, whatever it is. Title. Employer's name address city a blue your country choose Pakistan and here you should give a phone number I have to give a postal code also okay then click next type of travel document it will be ordinary passport travel document number issued by country we decided to keep up with Pakistan date okay let's say the date valid until Okay, then click next. 
do you currently live reside in a country other than the country of your current nationality I'll say yes do you have permission to return to the country you are currently living in no no I will say no I'm living in my own country have you had your fingerprints collected before for the purpose of applying for a Schengen visa I will say no member state of main destination I'm going to Denmark you can choose between Denmark or Iceland so it will be Denmark other member states of the name of destination uh, I will say for example if I want to go to Austria and Belgium too purpose of the journey I'll say tourism other purposes of the journey if applicable nothing additional information and this is one is optional then click next number of entries requested I say multiple intended date of arrival of the first intended to stay in the Schengen area let's say that date mm, for example intended date of departure which Schengen country will you enter first I will choose Denmark sorry Denmark then next entry permit for final country of destination applicable if you are only transiting through the Schengen destination do you have an entry permit for the final country of destination I will say not applicable because I'm not transiting I'm just traveling has someone invited you to the Schengen area if you have a company organization or someone invited you can click yes I'll say no so inviting reference name of the hotel or hostel you are going to stay in address postal code city country I will choose Denmark email address okay click next cost of traveling and living I will be paying it by myself and to be by cash and credit card okay click next if you have a sponsor you can choose your sponsor do you have an invitation made online by your host I will say no so if there is a person I would like to show you something first mm -hmm. so I want to show you something if you have a host and this host is going to invite you he will have to create an invitation this host must create this invitation using this website he goes to this website create an invitation for you and submit it and give you the invitation ID so you can add it uh, in your application then click next so this is a summary of my application all my answers and you can always go back uh, and edit it if you want okay now we'll go to the payment section okay so the application fees uh, most applicants must pay a fee to complete the online application uh, flow so you have to pay for this application 
online and the cost of the application is 80 euro fee so you go to the payment okay and now to pay you can click pay here and in this section you can choose if you want to pay by bank card or mastercard or visa card for example i'll choose visa card and you write the card number the expiry month expiry year the cvc and uh, validate payment they will send you an otb to your phone number and after that you will enter the otb the payment will be done and uh, your application now is already uh, done already paid for and you are ready for the next part so basically if you are applying for denmark visa you are applying through vfs global uh, company they have offices in egypt like almost everywhere algeria india pakistan philippines uh, iran indonesia ireland uh, turkey tunisia thailand they have offices everywhere so if we will choose pakistan as we already choose and click here take me to the website so this page will appear in front of you start now so first we already made our application we went to the website you filled the application and uh, you also made your payment for the application uh, online now you will have to pay your fees uh, so you already paid for the fees online after paying the fees you will have to print the cover letter and the payment fee received this will be required for submitting your application at the visa application center and also in the application center you will um, pay a service fee cash in the application center but there is something that you need to know that f in order to book an appointment you'll have to click here book an appointment okay and here you will click book now and after you click book now you'll have to create an account in vfs global and choose the center and uh, choose also the slot or the date you would like to go for your appointment to uh, get your biometrics uh, collected and after that when you visit the uh, visa application center you go for your uh, biometrics and you go also uh, for submitting all uh, the documents that you will uh, need i would like also to show you here that there are some additional documents that you will uh, need short-term stay okay they are not under identifying here visa type it's for visit okay anyway so after that you will have after visiting the visa application center submitting all the documents and i will be leaving you uh, a list or uh, we will speak about all these documents in the end of the video you uh, and after submitting everything being everything you can track your application uh, online here in this website and if your visa accepted is accepted you will be able to collect your passport from the center speaking about the documents you will need to apply for the visa the first document is your passport speaking about the passport the passport must be original the issue date must be not older than 10 years with at least six months of remaining validity and with at least two blank visa pages for the stamps number two you will need a photocopy of your passport the passport photocopy is recommended to be colored must show both data page and the photo page if they are separated number three you will need personal pictures for the personal picture you will need two pictures not older than six months clear 
shows full face with white background and shows neutral expressions no head or face covering accepted except for religious reasons number four you will need visa application forms for the visa application form it could be an online form filled online printed then signed it could be also a pdf form filled on computer printed then signed and also it could be a hand filled form printed then filled then signed its type depends on the country of the visa and will be explained individually in each video number five you will need a proof of status for the proof of status it varies if you are an employee or work in a company you will need a letter from an employer or hr office or your sponsor stating designation the date of employment the salary the period of stay purpose of visit and financial arrangements shall also be mentioned the letter must have an original signature and a stamp but if you are an owner of your own company or a partner in a company you will need a copy of the company commercial registry and tax card should also be presented and if you are a student in a school or college enrollment letter should be provided number six for foreigners you will need a legal residence permit if you are not applying for a visa in the country of your own citizenship you must provide the original and photocopy of your valid certificates of residence employment or student status or other valid certificates of legal stay provided by the relevant authorities of the country where the visa center is located number seven you will need a proof of funds you will also need a proof of sufficient financial means to cover the period of your intended stay a bank statement for the last six months showing regular income the original bank statement must show the applicant's name and be stamped and signed by the bank's representative please note that cash will not be accepted as a proof of funds in case you don't have a bank account a proof of any assets can also be presented number eight you will need a flight reservation the flight reservation is also an important document a primary booking of flight ticket reservation must be presented including the return trip and in some cases for some countries this flight ticket must be confirmed number nine you will need a proof of accommodation you will also need to provide a proof of accommodation for the whole duration of the intended stay it should be a confirmed hotel reservation the confirmation needs to be issued directly by the hotel guest house and clearly state the visa applicant's full name dates of accommodation the hotel address and the contact details in case you don't have a hotel reservation you will need an invitation by the office of citizenship and migration affairs or invitation from a host the host can be company friends family and it should indicate the address of accommodation and those are some sites you can use to book your accommodation place number 10 you will need a health insurance certificate in many cases you will need a travel insurance certificate especially for schengen countries it should be covering the whole period of stay including the information on terms and conditions the insurance should cover all medical expenses including emergency hospital treatment and repartition of the period of your stay in the schengen area covering at least 30,000 euros the travel insurance certificate shall be signed and stamped by the insurance company representatives or be able to confirm it online those are some sites of companies you can use for your travel insurance